some meal prep. She's gonna do chicken salad. Let me show you what she's using. So this is really, really convenient. We picked this up at Trader Joe's, but if you don't have a Trader Joe's, you can pick this kind of thing up anywhere. It's pre-cooked chicken, and this is the grilled lemon pepper. She's got two of them. How many came in one? Two? It's like one? one and a half. Okay, so like one really huge chicken breast kind of thing. And it's already seasoned. And she's just going to cut that up and turn this into chicken salad. It's so good. The way we do our chicken salad here lately, and some of you have asked, you know, a lot of you bought my cookbook, and I thank you very, very much for that, by the way. And I'm so excited to see your tremendous success on it. But I have gotten a few questions where people ask, well, I've seen you make your pastina soup before. The recipe is a little bit different in the cookbook. You know why? Because we change things up all the time. For example, I make three or four different versions of chicken salad. It just keeps it fun. And I make my own. Yeah, and Paige makes one her way. This is actually her recipe, and I love it. So basically, you're just going to cut up the chicken, add a little bit of light mayo, and this is kind of the secret ingredient. We love garlic in this household. So this is aioli garlic mustard sauce, and it just gives it a whole new taste bomb. I cannot see that. I think it's a zero. Is that a zero on the carbs? Yes. Yeah. So no carbs in this. Delish. So that's what she's working on. And then me over here, here's my meal prep. I'm freezing bananas. Now, you have not seen me. How long has it been? At least two years since you've seen me doing nice cream or anything along those lines. You know why? Because I had to get that sugar crave out of my system. And also, when my numbers came up, when I discovered I was pre-diabetic, this here, nice cream, was just out of the question. My body couldn't handle it. Now it can. My um, fasting blood sugar is consistently, for months now, every single day, under 100. So I know that what I wanted to achieve in going low carb has happened. So I know that I can start to work this back in. Now, if I do this and my A1C comes up or my fasting blood sugar becomes higher again, then this, I can't do it. It's a matter of health. So anyway, that is what we're going to be working on for this week. Nice cream for dessert, which, I mean, I would have nice cream for breakfast. I'm not suggesting you do that because that's too much sugar in the morning. But you know what I mean. It's a frozen banana. But in the day, you know, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've had this for lunch before. But again, it's all according to what your body is willing to do. Here's what you're going to need for Paige's version of chicken salad. So she's got the chicken cut up here. She's doing a couple tablespoons of the zero-carb garlic aioli. Then you're going to need salt and pepper, some celery salt, some good olive oil. We like to do the cold pressed, a little bit of light mayo, and some kind of garlic and herb seasoning. Now, she's not measuring. Everything we do is kind of to taste. So I try to give you measurements, but I would guess that to be probably a teaspoon. You know, a lot of times you never know how big your chicken breasts are or how many you're using. So you just kind of do it to what you like. Next up, we're going to be doing spaghetti squash. Now, I'm going to do two whole spaghetti squashes. So I'm going to show you how I'm seasoning this one so that you get the technique. These are really easy to make. If you have never made a spaghetti squash before, I just want to encourage you to try it. It is not scary or intimidating. All you do is pop your spaghetti squash in the microwave for about 30 seconds, cut it in half, and scoop out the inside just like a pumpkin. And then you just decide how you want to season it. So let me show you exactly what we're going to be doing with this one. I have the oven 
preheated to 425. And then I put a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil all over the inside of the spaghetti squash, some salt, some pepper, and then you're going to choose whatever seasonings you're in the mood for. Tonight on these two, I'm going to do green goddess and I'm also going to do my pizza sprinkle. I just like that combination. And what I will do with that when I serve it is I'll put some melty cheese on there and it, it really gives you an Italian flair. I love it. So you're going to flip this upside down and you see how there's a lot of oil in there. That's absolutely fabulous because all that will get roasty and delicious. So we are going to roast those in the oven at, like I said, 425. And these are going to go about 45 minutes. They're going to be soft. They're going to look like they're caving in. That means they're done. Now, when these are done, you're going to just let them cool so you can handle them. And then I just took a fork and scraped it right out to the shell. This, what you're seeing here is one half of that spaghetti squash. So from here, you can do anything you want. In my low carb cookbook, I show you an Alfredo version where you kind of make this like a fettuccine Alfredo. You can do a spaghetti and meat sauce. I also like to add taco meat and a little bit of cheese and kind of prepare it like a taco. And it's actually really fun to stuff it back into the shell of the spaghetti squash. It just looks cute like that. But I will have four of these this week. Now, you know how I tell you I always do foil packed chicken and I like to pre-season my chicken and throw it in the freezer in a freezer bag? That's what we have here, four of those chicken breasts. These have already been seasoned with olive oil, salt, pepper, some green goddess seasoning. I'm gonna pull that away because I didn't go real heavy on that, but I did go pretty heavy on that pizza sprinkle. And that's why I decided to go ahead and prep these pre-cook these for the week because i will cut that chicken up and put it over that spaghetti squash that is so so good so i just want to have that on hand now i did sprinkle a little extra garlic powder over the top just because you know i'm a garlic fanatic so we're going to cook this with that spaghetti squash it, it went in the oven with the spaghetti squash at 400 and i'm just going to throw some foil over the top and it'll go about 30 minutes. I just wanted to be sure to show you these carb counter street tacos, I love these. So I like to take that chicken, cut it up, put it in one of those little taco shells and add in some avocado. It is so good. It's like such a good little street taco. I think these meals are gonna put me on the perfect trajectory for good eating this week. I'm really excited about what I'm gonna to throw together. So please be sure to stick around. Wednesday is always weigh-in and Friday is what I eat in a day. So you will see these meals.